All roads leads to Riyadh this week as the eyes of the boxing world set their sights on Saudi Arabia. We're back in the Greek district of the magnificent Boulevard World Complex as the countdown to knockout chaos continues with the official press conference. Mr. Ariel Hawani and the king of heavyweight boxing, Mr. Tyson Fury, who, by the way, is already started training because look at that. He's looking good, isn't he? I always look at Tyson, I can tell by that. Tyson, you're looking good, Tyson. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> can I get a look at the eye? Yeah, I don't course. even know which eye it is. It's this one. I've seen nothing. Sailing good. It looks fantastic. Good. Really, yeah, it, it really good. looks great. When I start camp at the end of March, I'll be ready for sparring. Make no mistake, I'm not paying no $10 million <laughs> bounty. Yeah. So I will be fighting cut eye or not. The winner of this two will get a shot at world title from me after I beat Usyk twice this year. Obviously, you've never fought AJ before, but you know him very well. You know Francis the boxer better than anyone. Who do you like in the fight? They're both big punchers. They're both not very hard to hit, so they both can land and do damage. If Francis wins, then it sets up a, a, a massive rematch for me and Francis. But if AJ wins, then it sets up a big um, British fight for me and him. Welcome to the Knockout Chaos main event press conference. It's a pleasure to be joined here by some of the brightest and best uh, in the boxing fraternity. Now, this historic fight night will be live on the zone worldwide and available in the UK. I think pound for pound, I said earlier, a better show than Day of Reckoning. I mean, it starts the year here tonight with this fabulous top of the event. Fabulous undercards. It doesn't get any better than this. I really think I haven't shocked the world. You know, I'm still uh, in the factory, building, you know, training, learning. And I think um, when I really going to get it, I think that's where the world going to be shocked. I'm just working, building and learn. Uh, about the sport, you know, the sport that I love my entire life, but didn't have the opportunity to really do it and get some experience. And uh, it's just now that I'm really like having that, uh, uh, working on that experience. And uh, I think I can, I'm going to put something really, really nice. I can put something. I trust the process. I trust my team, the work that we are putting in, you know, so it's going to pay off. Yeah. All be revealed, isn't it? Just straight out war, relentlessness, good fight. And uh, that's, what, that's what everyone's here for, good fight. So, yeah, stay tuned if you're here. I appreciate everyone coming out. Much appreciated. His Excellency as well for putting the show on. And if you're at home, you know the score. Make sure you get a live on pay-per-view. His dream was always to be a boxer. So I'm, I know what I'm up against. You know, I look at all these uh, small details. But I spar. I do my film study, all that type of stuff. I keep it professional. But... On the nights, on the night, that's different. All that textbook stuff goes out the window, um, and you just got to be relentless. Give it your best. It's already written in the stars what's going to happen. I'm just going to follow my destiny. I know I'm no whirling. I know it's going to be a different round. It's going to be a different opening, a different feeling. You know, we all, um, when, we get, when we get in the ring, that's when you know the fight. And then when there is a, um, um, a counter, a, a reaction in front, the fight can be very different, you know. But when there is not a reaction, the fight can also be very different. It's a learning process. I'm sure to learn. And uh, I struggled for the t first, uh, first fight, um, who was against Tyson Fury. And in fact, I was in that fight questioning myself, like, what would happen if I, when I get in the fourth round? How would I feel? Because i never been in a professional fight, a boxing match for four rounds, for six rounds, eight rounds. Then that was ten rounds. So, yes, I did struggle. But I think he struggled as well. Maybe more. <laughs> well, he's sat in the front row here at the press site, smiling away. He's grinning, not giving anything away. The road is still long, and, I still, and I'm really intending to gain a lot of major victory like this. One over Tyson. One more over Tyson. Ooh. Because I, have the, I, I had the first one over him. I'm intending to have the second one. <laughs> and he's been <laughs> about it, which is true. <laughs> You're gonna sleep in the octagon again, and I'm gonna wipe the, the, the ring with your with, with your again. I have already tell you, Leo, I tell you, your only chance is in the ring, in the boxing ring with the boxing rules. When you step off or that ring, you better stay five meters away before I stuck your shit. Because if I lose it, you're gonna have a really bad time, my friend. So stay, respect the fact that boxing is protecting you us, and the rules of boxing is protecting us. Because out of that, without that, you are nothing in front of me. I will beat, I beat you every day, twice on Sunday.
I know Zhang's over there. Um, you know, he said he wants to bang me. Well, I just want to say to Zhang, I'm going to bang you. <laughs> well, it's, it's an interesting way to start, Joe. I like it. Joe, it feels like you've taken another step in your career under Andy Lee. I think you delivered arguably the best performance of your career. Thanks to Tyson for linking me up with Andy Lee. Great trainer. And again, he linked me up with George Lockhart. <laughs> another, <laughs> another great trainer, nutritionist, who have done some tremendous work. And when, when everything is going good in camp and everything is balanced and you feel great and you're seeing results, I feel dangerous. I really do. And Zhang is going to feel that danger. Joseph Parker is a hell of a fighter. He's young, he's hungry, and he's coming here for the belt. I'm the tiger right here. I'm here to hunt. If you want to take the food out of my mouth, you're going to pay the price. It's massive, isn't it? You don't have to look around, see what's happening. Yeah, so I'm made up to be here. Yeah, I've got my opportunity, and uh, I'm going to take it with both hands. I saw a video of you blind ranking fighters. Ray Vargas actually came out as number one. How much do you respect him as a champion? I respect all fighters you get in the ring, yeah. And um, he's obviously he's world champion, and he so he is number one for now. But come Friday night, that's going to change. This is a pelea importante, claro como todas. Es una pelea mandatoria. Y bueno, pues aquí estamos, listos para subirnos a ring, para hablar con los hechos, con los puños. This fight, uh, I, I take it pretty seriously. This is a mandatory fight, and I'm ready to, to defend my title. I'm ready to talk with the fist, not with words. It's not rocket science, as my boy Cena says. The best man will always win. It's not rocket science, isn't it? The best man will always win. But one of the main things I'm looking forward to is showing how good I am. People find out when they're in the ring, innit? But we'll see. Friday will soon come. I'm looking forward to the occasion. What do I? Let's go. Let's go. Yes, 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 yes. That'll be good. It's going to be a good night. Joshua versus Nganu, Friday, March 8th. Buy now at DAZN.com.